You've got to let me go in there with you guys. There's no telling what kind of crazies you're going to come across. This is our agent, you idiot. Vinny's crazy, I can handle. Yeah, and last time you tackled Lexi because you thought she was carrying a bomb. It was a bomb. It was a blueberry muffin, Jimmy. Yeah. What better place to hide a bomb than inside a delicious pastry? Stacy, will you babysit Bigfoot and make sure he doesn't tackle anything or anyone? It was totally a bomb. I take my job very seriously. If I blink, people die. So I just train myself not to blink. Well, unless a bug flies in my face. That's a reflex, can't be helped. And that time I got distracted. Y you know what? It's not about the blinking, okay? The point is that I do everything in my power to protect those Babin flocks. They're like my children. My verbally abusive children. No, 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 no. This is not a negotiation, Lori. I want exclusivity on the McDonald's deal. You give Burger King and KFC to whatever crybaby clients you have a soft spot for, but McDonald's is mine. I will cut you. Do we understand one another? Thank you. Okay, give my love to the kids. Are we interrupting? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Hey, that was just my wife. Please come in. Uh, make yourself at home. Uh, Lexi, Waters, now. Ah, so. How's my favorite dubbing duo doing, huh? Riley, what was it like working on Border Space 7? You know, I hear that they're supposed to be the biggest seller next year. Cut the crap, Vinny. Whoa, whoa. Hey, why is she so moody? Is it her time of the month? What? I don't know. What? Don't you share, like, twin telepathy feelings, experiences and shit with that, no? I don't experience periods with her, Vinny. Huh. Well. The more you know, I guess. Okay, Vinny, we need to talk about this. Talk the waters, Vinny. What took you so long? It's about time! Uh, I was in the restroom when you called. Jesus, Harry Christ, I don't pay you to pee. I pay you to work. Um, you don't pay me anything. I'm an intern. I don't pay you to talk bad to me either. Once again, you're not getting paid anything. Vinny, quit dodging. Why aren't we getting our minimum for Texarkanime? <laughs> oh, that, that, oh, Riley, you are going to love me. Doubt it. Okay, get this. Rod Candy Corn just dropped out, leaving a big gaping hole in their programming. When I called him and told him he could get two Babin Flux for the price of one Candy Corn, he jumped at it. Well, of course he did. Candy Corn's a nobody. Look, Vinny, I... I haven't told you the best part yet. Well, get to it quick, because if you don't, I'm going to tell Jimmy there's a blueberry muffin in here. Uh, Vinny, tell them now! <laughs> okay. Two words. Cash Jackson. Cash Jackson? He runs all of the biggest conventions in North America. I've been trying to get in front of him for months. How did you know he was going to be there? It is my job to know. Huh? Not so pms -y about the pay cut now, are you? Riley, this is amazing. This could be our stepping stone to gigantic... Vinny, how many other big name voice actors are going to be there? Uh, what? Uh, what? What are you talking about? What name? Uh... Vinny. Uh, Riley, they're all small fish, uh, the minnows, uh, tadpoles, a uh, teeny tiny clownfish like in that Nemo movie. Vinny, is Mickey Malcolm going to be there? Uh, me, uh, Mickey, uh, the, uh, Mickey, oh, the blue butler guy. Uh, give me a break, Riley, he's British, she's British, so. Vinny, I do not want to be in the same zip code with that pompous asshat, much less at the same convention. Not right there, you just said pump his ass. Shut up, Reese! Look, is he going to be there or not? <clears throat> no, Riley, no, he is not going to be there, okay? Would I do that to you? I know my clients, okay? I know you hate his little blue butler balls. I've got your back. Who's got your back? I've got your back. Come on, I promise. I promise. Mickey Malcolm is not going to be at Tax Arcanime! I'm going to Tex Arcanime. Are you insane? Volume Mickey, you haven't warmed up enough to talk to me like that. Don't talk to me about volume, Scarlet! How dare you book me? You know I'm trying to transition to be on camera only. For God's sake, I have a meeting with Don Howardstein this afternoon. Actually, you're not. His people called and said he had to cancel. That's the third producer to cancel on me this week. What the hell is going on? Well, yeah. is your right foot sufficiently massaged, Miss Margie? Yes, thank you, Liam. Now scoot on over and do the other foot. 
I'm going to level with you. You're starting to get a reputation. Oh, I'm aware of the haters floating around on the interwebs. He's terrible. Plain and simple, he is terrible. It is, it's just, it's just sad. It's almost like I feel dumber for having seen him try to act or I still didn't even know what that was. I don't like you. I don't like your work. It makes me sick. You're a stupid idiot. K. Mickey Malcolm? More like J.K. Mickey Malcolm. Cause you're a joke. I don't understand how someone who claims to be from the UK has the worst British accent I've ever heard in my life. I should hardly think their reviews were detrimental to my career. Oh, I'm not talking about that. People are starting to say that you are a member of the Communist Party. What? What? That's outrageous! Well, personally, I don't give a donkey's dildo what your political stance is. It's a free country, I mean, unless you had your way. But the bottom line is the studios are not going to put a fascist Brit in a three-picture deal. <laughs> Slander! Defamation! Who dares drag the magnificent name of K. Mickey Malcolm through the mud? Apparently, an online troll by the name of RBF1000 posted it a few months ago. It's really gotten some traction, which of course I'm sure you're aware of now. But it's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal? Scarlet, my character has been horrendously and ironically assassinated! Now, as my public relations ambassador, I demand that you do something to correct this grave injustice. I did. You're going to Texark anime. I gave a little extra attention to the big toe this time, Miss Markey. Oh, well, thank you, Liam. Would you like a foot massage? Liam would be happy to service you. I promise to be gentle, Mr. Malcolm. Scarlet has taught me well Liam, we've discussed first name privileges, and yours have been revoked. My deepest apologies, Miss Markey. Keep telling that line, Liam. A foot massage will not be necessary, thank you. Very well. You're dismissed. It's quite, I fail to see how going to one trifling little con could repair my reputation. Texark anime is a gateway to Giganticon. That's right. Cash Jackson will be there scouting for his upcoming convention. If you can win over him and those other gunslinging Christians, word will get out that Mickey Malcolm is a man of the American people. Cash Jackson will hand over his golden ticket to his chocolate factory, and Don Howardstein will again have room on his schedule for you. Fine, I'll do it. Good. But I want top billing. I'll see what I can do. I beg your pardon, you'll see what you can do. Riley Star has just been announced. You know she's got a lot of momentum right now. No, 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 no. Riley Star, that bottom feeding munchkin has been nipping at my heels for far too long. Now, either you get me top billing or I'm not going. You're going. You'll go even if you have to sign autographs on the back of a hot dog stand. Otherwise, you will never see your name on the silver screen. Now, back your cowboy boots, Doctor Who. You're going to Texas. <sighs> it's time for your afternoon facial, Miss Margie. No, Liam. This is fantastic. This could be the biggest convention of our careers. Okay, don't be so gullible, Reese. Vinny is up to something. What makes you think that? Because that butt-kissing slime ball is always up to something. I don't know, Riley. Reese, wait. Um, you forgot your water, so. Thanks, Lexi. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks, Lexi. Bye. You're wel welcome. Bye. What? Really, Reese? Lexi? What about Lexi? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, whatever, I don't care, but you cannot date her. What? Why can't I? I mean, it's not like I want to, but if I did, why can't I? Because we have been waiting our entire careers at a shot at Cash Jacks, and I cannot have you distracted. I'm not gonna let you blow our chance because you're daydreaming about some mousy assistant. 
She's not mousy. I mean, she's just, she's probably Yeah, it's around. really not up for discussion. You cannot date her. Got it? Okay, got it. Good. Come on, Jimmy, we're leaving. What are you doing? Trick question, I know exactly what you're doing. You're sending emails. But not just any emails. Bomb emails, that's right. I know about your plan to blow up the internet. Well, I got news for you, terrorist scum. You can't blow up the internet without first getting past the firewall. Yeah, so unless you have a fire extinguisher email in there, which I doubt, then you're just plumb out of luck, sister. Jimmy!